Welcome back. I'm Andy Adler, and I think we could all agree on this. TCU football, baseball, basketball, they all get a whole lot of attention. The equestrian team, not so much, but they should. And this next story really gives a sense of the bond between the rider and the horse. Beautiful job by photojournalist Bill Ellis. Take a look. I'm so happy to get here every morning. This place is heaven on earth for a horse operation and especially as the home of TCU Equestrian. Some days are pinch me days, just realizing that we are living our dream, working with these incredible athletes. We have 45 horses and 39 women that we work with on a daily basis. We're very big believers in the horse being able to be a horse and live in a herd environment if it likes that, um, which is, is how they were designed. So almost all of our horses go in group turnout at night from about 6 p.m. to 6 or 7 a.m. So they get to play with their friends and, and be outside and um, eat grass and, and enjoy the fresh air. And then they come inside during the day. We've been at this facility for five years. It's a great place to call home. We get here, you know, before eight o'clock and make sure everything is ready for practice to start. The family that's at TCU Equestrian is just something that you have to be grateful for. I want them to know whose house this is, okay? This is our house. We protect it. These are our horses. We got something to prove, so yes, let's go out there and prove it. We are a team, and more importantly than that, we're a freaking family. I said second one! When you just pull in, it's an atmosphere that you want to stay at. Mighty Horn Frogs are the best in town! My name is Maddie Dukes. I'm on the western side of the TCU equestrian team. I've been riding a horse since I could walk, or probably a little bit before. I've grown up doing it forever. Our sport is the only sport that the ball has a mind of its own, <laughs> um, so there's a little bit of added difficulty with that. I think this sport is, is so different and so unique in hundreds of ways. The horse in this instance has a, a brain and feelings, and so our athletes are managing their you know, their utility piece, their horse, and they're managing how it feels on that day. Welcome to Bear Creek Farms for today's matchup featuring the SMU Mustangs and your TCU Horn Frogs. My name is Shay Graham. I don't remember a day that we didn't think about a horse, ride a horse, talk about a horse. You get on the horse and you or whatever they need you to be. If they're nervous, you don't need to be nervous, you know. Um, you're in charge and, and they they respect you um, when you respect them. Um, I think that's probably the biggest point is, you know, these are our athletes too. Every morning people cleaning stalls and feeding these horses, they depend on us and they don't do anything unless we ask them to. They do it because they love us. My name is Ashley Scully. I started when I was four. I really want people to understand that how difficult our sport is and how complicated it is and how hard we work. I feel like the sport is very overlooked as, oh, you're just sitting there, you're not doing anything. We're trying to make a partner with a living, breathing animal and one that's over 1,200 pounds. It's a lot of subtlety. So our goal is to make it look like we're doing nothing. A great ride from a great rider. She's actually giving thousands and thousands of micro cues, you know, every minute. but it's unnoticeable to the untrained eye. When all the stars align <laughs> and it works out, it's an incredible feeling. It's kind of like a dance. I think of it like you're dancing in a sandbox with a partner that you're just right with. Um, so when you have that perfect connection with a horse and you're, you know, everything just goes smoothly, there's no other feeling in the world that compares to it. Keep our hands up! Keep our hands up! Our team is like a family. That's one of the most amazing parts of this team. My name is Sydney Barbie and I compete on the hunt seat side. I've been riding horses since before I can even remember. We do have a pretty cool team environment. We all hang out, we all go to dinner, we all go to the football games together. I can hear the girls cheering for me. It's like 
a boost of confidence immediately. And it's just like, oh yeah, everyone's in my corner, wants me to do well. The cheering on meet day is loud and proud. <laughs> when you're riding and you hear everybody screaming and hollering, it just like, I don't know, it makes it so much better and more exciting. The camaraderie on the team and the friends you make are absolutely amazing. We are all about empowering women in, in this sport. And we have some really good backing in the athletic department through empowering women and, and growing our brand and our image and how to do it well. I've seen this team grow from just the little purple Fort Worth school into the number one team. I've been fortunate to have been able to uh, see that growth and you know now we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. The love of a horse. At the end of the day, we're all just girls that love horses. They are, in fact, a force to be reckoned with. They finished the season 6-0 and for the first time in program history. So spring season, that starts in January. Again, just want to say great job to Bill Ellis for putting that together. He does such great work.